Hello guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial on how to make a zombie hunter game. So it's basically basically a game where they have a player that can shoot zombies, okay? Zombies has health and in this zombie hunter game I will add in more features such as a home screen um, and then there's much much more okay let's get right into it so the home screen is just going to be like this it's basically your title of your project I will name this agent pixel and we have this press space to start so I'll just use the space bar to, to start the game and for the player make sure that the square is in the middle but the others aren't okay so like the hand and the pistol the gun is right in the m in here okay and the bullet right in the middle make it smaller than the pistol yes maybe a little smaller okay and we have zombies red eyes and make sure the square is in the middle and we also have his hands okay and a stage of course I'm making it like a fade right here makes it better look cool okay let's get right into it so in the home in the home screen you'll put in when green flag clicked you'll broadcast oh my god home screen when I receive home screen we will sh we will um, actually we will start the home screen from what x0 y 360 so it's off the screen right on top there and then we will straight away put in a point in direction 90 and we'll put in a forever loop we will set y to y position divided by 2 let's see that okay you can look at that but i'll make it a little bit slower 1.2 maybe yes that's that's a very good colliding way to do it okay so I will add some movement to it we will put in a point in direction um, put in sin of timer times a hundred then we'll times it again by like six and that will plus 90 put it right there okay let's test that and yes we have this tilting animation very very cool okay so now we will add some y movement so we'll duplicate this change y by sin of timer times 100 times you know 10 and we'll plus 0 maybe just don't do anything okay so let's test that okay so it's too fast that maybe like two um i'll put 
in. Oh yes, um, the set Y to Y position, right? Actually, I'll put in a repeat until. Oh, um, yes. Y position is less than one. Then we'll set Y there and there. Let's test that. Okay. Wait, why is that? Oh, um, point in direction 90k, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Um, change Y by 1.2. Okay, that's nice. Maybe if I put in an equals to zero. Um, what if I put it in that then? Let's test that. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah, we'll take this. Or maybe. We'll just change the speed here. This is actually good. Maybe change the speed to 200. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so this is good. So we've got our home screen working very good okay so now we want to add the code when the space bar is pressed so we'll put in when I receive home screen we will show you will wait until key space pressed and we'll wait until not key space pressed oh. then we'll hide it then we'll stop this script and we'll stop other scripts from sp in sprite and right before that we'll broadcast start okay let's test that very quick okay that's good now let's go to agent and we'll put in when i receive home screen we'll hide and then when i receive start you will go to like this area here go to x negative 60 y 0 and then we'll point in direction 90 and for that we'll show it okay that's nice now we'll put in a forever loop you will point towards mouse pointer if key right arrow pressed you will change x by 4 duplicate that if key left arrow pressed we'll change x by negative 4 duplicate that change y by if up arrow key you will change y by 4 if down arrow key will change y by negative 4 what is that? no actually not this you will put in the WASD keys to make it easier for the player 
you can pick whether you want the arrow keys or wasties. Okay, press space. And let's go. We've got it. This is good. Okay. Actually, we'll just delete the point in direction. Okay, so now let's make it shoot. Pretty easy. In the agents right, in the players right. You'll put in when I receive start. Put in forever. If key space pressed or mouse down or it's clicked then we will create clone of bullet and we will wait one second okay so in the bullet when I receive home screen we'll hide and then when I receive start he will put in forever oh no um when I receive start is bad when I start as a clone then we will go to agent and we will show it and then we will point in direction direction of agent and then we will move like 20 steps and we will just go to back layer and forever okay forever actually repeat until touching edge then we will move like 15 steps and then lastly we'll delete this clone okay home screen very decent first space to start okay and that is so cool wait let's see that in action um i think it's too slow to make it so zero point eight maybe should work wait okay i think yeah that works okay so thank you guys for watching part one of this zombie hunter series please do leave a like and share the video f to your friends and it's a really big favor to comment down below what you think about this game and subscribe peace